We've got 45 different varieties in our main descriptive list trials this year, and I'm going to show you some of the differences we see between the lines. So this here is our latest maturing line. You'll see that this is only just in full flower, and it's going to be about plus 14 days to a vola when it is ready. There are also differences in colour between lighter and darker green varieties, such as this one. We also have differences in flower morphology. So here we have a variety that is determinate, laying all its flowers and laterally its pods will be grouped at the top of the crop, maturing evenly together. That's in contrast to other varieties like this one, which will set lower nodes and medium nodes, and then these flowers will become an additional node later. The crop growth habit also varies a lot from taller, bulky crops like this, to a sort of medium height, semi-leafless like this, to a crop with really quite short growth habits, which are aiming for sort of an even level layer of vining piece. Most of the crops are looking nice and clean and healthy, but we have got this small patch of virus symptoms here um, that is spread in this small localised area. But other repeats of the same variety are clean and it's a real sign that we've had a localised aphid infection that spread it here before the spray's gone through. There are also varieties of earlier maturities, so you can see that these lower nodes of pods here are filling out nicely. There will be a few more days before the upper pods also fill out and we think about taking this plot. We also have downy mildew trials on site where we're tracking the progress of the disease in lots of different varieties to assess whether each line is resistant or susceptible. Downy mildew will, can be seen here on this example plant where you can see the damage on the underside and, a, and top of the leaf.